Hey there guys, I'm Dengs564 and this new series of Let's Plays of uh, I'll be playing Sol Soldiers of Anarchy and uh, Words Are Hard Soldiers of Anarchy uh, I, was th I was thinking of playing Star Wolves uh, 3 Civil War but then I thought I'm probably gonna be playing Homeworld Remastered so I uh, <laughs> decided to switch out the space theme a bit uh, but let's continue on I'll um, I think I'll play on normal. Basically, here the s game is set in 2015, uh, and in 2004, the some kind of vi virus got broken out somewhere in Japan, and soon it became a became a pandemic. Uh, and a group of people got themselves into the army base bunker. Um, so now they're getting out first time in 10 years. Yeah. So. Mm. This game is very much like s strategy slash RPG. I think it's very, very underrated. I played it a lot in the time, and it was absolutely fantastic, so I decided to go ahead and try it. We're out. What's the air like out there? Well, we're still breathing. The air kind of reminds me of when I was a kid. And it's all quiet, except for the wind. Let's hope it stays that idyllic. First, go to the small command post. Then go to the dam and blow the thing up. Otherwise, we're never gonna get out of this valley. First the command post, then the dam. Okay? We're on it. So yeah, this base was some kind of joint NATO-Russian base to fight ter terrorism or something. And basically, these guys, they got were stuck in the base for 10 years. I especially don't do not envy this girl. Uh, Sorana? Sor Garoa. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, let's go and uh, get out of the base. Uh, before they actually got themselves locked up in the bunker, they blew up the passage that led to this little valley in where the base was located. Yeah, that happened. <laughs> um, okay, our first order of business is get to this outpost. And, and we already can see there that there's a bear. There a bear. There was. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Just a bear's man and maintenance fair. But we'll we'll kill him. It shouldn't be all that hard to Base, to do. We found life. What is it? A bear, I think. At least it looks like a regular bear. A bear. Well, be careful. Who knows, things could have mutated. The plants and animals around here don't necessarily look and behave the same as we're used to. Well, this one sure looks like a bear. It doesn't look at all friendly. Well, if he gives you any trouble, just shoot him. Then secure the command post. We might just have to do that. Okay, let's wait for the guys to gather up together and... Well, I'll sell that, I'll sell that bear. Just let's uh, get around here. And get ready to attack. Okay, from here should be okay. Shouldn't be any problems killing this little bird. Okay, come on. Okay, good. He didn't damage us at all. It will pick up this um, crates. So this game just generally ha has uh, a lot similar to what's it called, Men of War. The strategy slash old well, strategy basically, but with uh, uh, with soldiers having their inventory and stuff. Well, this game has the same thing. It has uh, it ha later on there will be tanks, hammers, helicopters, you name it. You that this uh, game has it. Uh, so. As you see, we have inventory here, and every gun has a certain amount of bullets in it, and we'll just sort out an inventory here a bit, just to remove all the unnecessary stuff from here. Hmm. And we'll give a couple of rounds to this guy. Um, and, well, I guess we'll give it to him and turn. 
Come on. Why are you not... Come on, give it to her. Good. So, now we are relatively locked and loaded. And we can continue on. To blow up the dam that's blocking the way to the valley. Uh, we should go this way. There are some deer, but uh, it's not important. There, there should be a hammer right in this base. We'll uh, use it to, to move around the base. Obviously, <laughs> because uh, th the maps are actually quite huge. I don't know if you can see here on the minimap, the distances are huge. Later on, we'll use uh, helicopters to actually scout the area, but for now, I guess we'll have to just use our guys and we'll just kill those wolves over there because they're actually might attack us. I set the aggressive stance so they would just automatically attack anyone hostile. So I now will. Uh, return to defensive and we'll attack only if attacked this wolves are attacking this deer and what worries me is that he's like close here and might attack us so I'll yeah okay so let's go here get into the Humvee before uh, wolves attack us wolves are actually being frightened by by Humvee. So see, he's running away. Yellow sign means that they are enemy, but they are not aggressive. Yellow means that they are running away. If you're lucky, it might still run. I hope so. I'm not crazy about all this walking. You might not be able to tell from looking at me, but after ten years in that bunker prison, I'm not exactly ready to run a marathon. You're just getting old. Thanks a lot. Look, just worry about that dam. I think there was a... Yeah, there's a... Stuff here. Loot. Glorious loot. We'll move a bit closer so that uh, even if the wolves come, come towards us, uh, they will not be able to attack us. So I'll go and grab that. Come on. Uh, box looted. There should be some ammo there. Oh, and medkits. Medkits are always useful because, you know, medkits. I think that's uh, pretty self explanatory. But uh, I think there was a. Uh, uh, um, somewhere in here. I think there was uh, the place to loot some uh, ammo for machine gun. Yeah, here's near this hammer. There should be a box with a uh, ammo farm machine gun, and in the early game, first couple of missions, there uh, Humvee is actually quite potent because well, we will not have any other vehicles like first two missions. I think on the third mission we'll get a BTR and maybe a BMP on the third mission as well, or yeah, something like that. On the fourth there will be T55, I think and so on and so forth so yeah but right now this actually this ammo will be extremely useful for us yeah some wolves here and eh, we'll not shoot them we'll just shoot them away with a hammer Hopefully they will run away, away from the jeep. Come on, move away. Good. So, who doesn't have a lot of stuff? Okay, let's unload this guy. Grab the stuff. Okay. And what about the jeep? The 
There's a crate of M60 ammunition next to it. The Jeep itself is scrap. Understood. We also found the Jeep's driver. Really? Is he okay? Sure. If you consider being a pile of bones, okay. I see. Oh, wait. There's a mailbag next to it. But the letters have all rotted. It's probably been here for years. Too bad. Well, keep your eyes peeled. Okay, let's get inside the jib and move towards them to blow it up, finally. Uh -huh. Didn't get me. I mean, there was a wolf trying to bite my... what's his name? Professor Doctor something? Let's put the ammo f in the jib, so now we have actually 15 in the mag and 50 extra, which which is pretty decent right now for this mission more than enough so let's go here park our vehicle somewhere in here and yeah graphics are well they okay-ish I guess I mean, the game is like, what, from 2004 or something? So I think it's manageable. It does the job. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. And generally, the game is off awesome. I remember I've been spending like hours and hours, and, and it's quite hard. Any idea what's waiting for us behind that dam? Probably nothing. You know that once we've blown this baby up, we can't just put it back again like a cork in a bottle. What choice do you have? Spend the rest of your life in this valley with the wolves and bears? All right, all right. Let's get to work. It's okay. Uh, for some reason, these wolves are riding towards the car, and we're not away from it. Let's uh, shoot this guy. Okay. Where's our explosives expert? Come on, guys. Really? Did anyone spend ammo on you? Because the, the main actually, like, driving. F Come on, really, run away. Move. Because uh, the ammo is actually the the largest. Uh, problem in this game like getting ammo for mostly for vehicles like uh, shells for for the tank or something like that it's, they're really hard to find usually especially in higher difficulties so that's why I'm playing on normal so I will not be dying horribly every like five seconds but yeah it's, uh can be quite hard Come on, let's move. We got only 18 seconds, but we should be fine, yeah. I wonder if explosion will hit the wolves. It should. <laughs> They're running towards it. Towards the bomb. Come on. Three, two, one. <coughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect timing. Like a professional Korean StarCraft player. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. If there are any survivors around here, they sure know about us now. Understood. Our primary objective is to make contact with other humans. That is, if anyone survived. We need some information on the last ten years. But be careful. We don't know what's waiting for you out there. I want to see you back here in one piece. We'll be careful. I don't feel like taking a dirt nap on my first day of freedom. We'll report back as soon as we get any news. Okay, so let's continue on out of the base, out of this valley, and into the uh, real world. Uh, into the real world. <laughs> um, before we actually go to this location, that's uh, some logging camp or something. I think there was a uh, the hut where we can actually find the uh, actual additional team member somewhere in here. Uh, oh, yeah, there it is. 
So we'll uh, we'll move somewhere in here. Come on. And grab him first. And he'll make his way on foot, I guess, because we don't have any enough. enough um, we don't have enough people. I mean, we don't have enough space in to fit all to five people into the Humvee. No, oh, well, he'll make it eventually. I don't think there's any danger here. Well, yeah, he should be fine. Well, he might as well just get straight here to uh, this village. We'll eventually get there. We'll see. Come on. Over here. He's actually useful. He's a marksman. So he'll be more... Uh, he'll be better with marksman weapons. In the second mission it will be important to have one. Well, not that important, but it's useful. Uh, like, for example, he this guy is proficient with light weapons. This guy is not proficient with anything right now. Uh, he is proficient with explosives, and she's proficient medic. Um, you set to aggressive mode. So, w light weapons don't include, include actually assault rifles. It's heavy weapons for some reason, I don't know. And heavy weapons are probably one of the most important skills. Uh, okay, there is some guys. Let's go and kill them. Come on. Good. So let's change back to the defensive mode. We can actually get out and talk to the guy. So he'll join us. Wait. Where are you going? I just saved your life, come on. Everyth everything's alright. Where are you going? Finally, he stopped. I'll have him pick up the, the weapons that are there. So. Since he will be traveling on foot, anyways. Who are you? The next gang come to take everything I own? Well, you're out of luck. The slingers were already here. There's nothing left. We're not a gang. Well, not really anyway. We saved your life. Why would we do that if we wanted to harm you? <clears throat> you got a point. But who are you and what do you want? Look, we've still got a few battles to fight with those gangs. We could use your help. Why don't you join us? There's not much keeping you here now. Well, that's true. I can't stay here. Okay, I'll go with you. I guess it's your lucky day. You just got yourselves the best marksman in the region. We'll take all the luck we can get. By the way, the names in this, in this game are <laughs> really hilarious. Um, it's supposed to be you know, set in somewhere in uh, in Russia, but names sometimes here just ridiculous. I think there was a new new Boston or a new something. Uh, the, the name of the town. How? Why <laughs> would there be? name a town named New Boston in somewhere in Russia I have no idea but there is and the names of the characters sometimes are pretty hilarious because well the game the game is uh, German I think the studio that developed the game so <laughs> yeah um, okay you you pick up all the stuff that is here should be quite a plain stuff Mm, and yeah, here's a shotgun. Well, it's shotguns. They do quite a lot of damage when you, if you get to the close range. But uh, the problem is, it's really hard to get to the close range. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not that useful. Uh, you know what? I'll send this guy somewhere. In, where's that village? Somewhere in here. He'll he'll be there when we get there. And these guys. You go towards uh, that spot. I think there should be a bear or something like that. Nothing serious. We'll take him out with a uh, with the hand weapons. 
and there should be some loot in there as well, yeah. Like two boxes of some interesting stuff. As I said, resource management of the, in this game is like one of the most important stuff. Um, you need to loot everything just to be able to sell it later to, you know, buy stuff that you need. And it has like really interesting uh, system. Well, not system, but you know, you actually need weapons, and you actually try to to try to acquire them. We found some kind of timber yard here. The wood looks freshly cut. Great. That means we're definitely not the only ones left on this godforsaken planet. It looks like there's enough wood here to supply a whole village. Be careful. You're bound to come across some people soon. Agreed. Keep your eyes peeled. Come on. Let's group together so that Baron will not hurt us. I don't want to spend medkits if I don't have to. Good. Uh, you can actually start looting. Some shotgun shells. You got medkits. Well, let's give it to our medic. Okay, good enough. Uh, and you should actually start giving your ammo away. There's way too much ammo you have for a uh, handgun. Uh, you know what, guys? I think I'll make a cut here. I'll. Oh, shite. There's a... some stuff here. Hopefully, yeah, it's actually far enough. Uh, so I'll make a cut here and we'll continue in the next episode where we'll uh, do stuff. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, see ya.